we make a lot of choices in this life. Some are easy. We might not even be thinking about the fact that we are making a choice. And some are harder. And when it comes to the choices that we are struggling to make, I wanted to share with you a tool that I have found to be very helpful in these situations. If we can't make up our mind about something, it is either because we simply cannot make up our mind about it, we don't know which direction to go, or it can also be the case that we have almost made up our mind about it, but still something inside of us is telling us that the choice we have made may not be the right one. But no matter the circumstances for you, the tool that I'm about to share works either way, so let's go. The choices you make, or perhaps do not make, are all based on you, the person you are and your own perspective. Even if you may consider other people's opinions, it is still you who decide if they should matter in your decision making or not. And what is so great about this technique is that you get to shift perspective for a while. You get to like jump out of yourself to get a fresh view on the situation you're asking about. I have found three questions you can ask yourself when you are facing a choice that is hard to make. I usually ask myself one of these, the one that seems the most fitting to the situation I am inquiring about. But you can of course ask all three of them if you feel that that will give you a more accurate answer. The first question is, what would a god or goddess part of you do in this situation? Or perhaps, what would your higher self do? By asking yourself this question, you are, like I said, shifting perspectives. And I have found that it is so much easier to make a choice that feels great inside my heart when I do it like this. Not all the times, sometimes it is still hard, but it can actually be very, very helpful. Like I said in the beginning, the choices we make are ours. They are based on our experiences and expectations, and also very much so based on the way we feel about ourselves. And this part is extra important when it comes to the decisions that has to do with boundaries and integrity. Because if we love ourselves, we probably don't have a problem with making choices that honor our boundaries and integrity. But if we instead lack self-love, it is very likely that we are prone to the opposite, being making decisions that do not honor our boundaries and integrity, and perhaps even making choices that overstep other people's boundaries and integrity. Moving from a place where we lack self-love to a place where we fully and completely love ourselves won't happen overnight, but we still have the ability to make choices from this perspective. We can make choices that the version of ourselves who love themselves would make. So this brings us to the second question. What would the version of you who completely loves, totally adores, and always respects you do. I admit that it can be hard taking action from this perspective if this isn't what you are experiencing in your current reality. But you should do it anyway, because it is also like a training in self-love. The third and last question can also be helpful to ask if you are struggling with self-love, but it can also be useful if the situation you are asking about is something that you are a little bit too close or entangled in to make a proper decision. If someone you truly care about was in your situation and were facing the choice that you are facing, what would your advice to them be? That is the third question, and I think it's a really good one. First of all, when it comes to the self-love part, or the lack of self-love part, I should say, when you shift perspective and you think about someone you love 
and the choices you would want for them. That's the choices you should choose for yourself. Because you would want them to honor the beautiful soul that they are. And you are just as much of a beautiful soul. So just apply the advice you would give this person to yourself and then act on it. So that's the tool I use when I struggle with making decisions. And if you try one or maybe three of them out, I hope they will be helpful for you as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.